dear students the, the next section in this uh, module is the mobile it <coughs> and, how and handling mobility in a cellular network so, so what is mobile it a mobile, mobile ip is a internet, internet architecture. architecture the mobile ip is internet, internet architecture and uh, protocols for supporting uh, mobility and, and it is collectively known as mobile ip I repeat, mobile IP is the internet architecture and protocols uh, for supporting mobility and it is completely or collectively known as uh, mobile IP and defined in uh, RFC 3344. So, this has got many features. What are the many features it has? So, one is home agents, foreign agents and the foreign agent registration, care of address, care of address the encapsulation within a packet within a packet all those uh, important features uh, is supported by the mobile ip so, so now three component of the mobile ip first component is uh, now three component of the mobile ip three component of the mobile ip first component is normally known as uh, agent discovery first component is known as uh, agent discovery <coughs> First, first component first, first component, component is known as uh, agent discovery first, first component is known as agent discovery second one is known as registration with the home agent and the third one is uh, indirect routing so this is the first one uh, uh, agent discovery second one is the registration with the home agent and third one is the indirect routing so indirect routing so now We will see, see the, the first one here, here first indirect routing. routing. You, you can, can see the, the mobile's home, home network and uh, visited, visited network and our correspondent. Our, our correspondent, correspondent want to send, send the packet to the mobile. So, so you, you can see the, the packet, packet is sent by the correspondent. In, in that packet, uh, important thing is the destination. Destination, destination is the 128.119.40.18. This is the destination. But, but as, as soon as, as the packet, packet comes here, here in the home agent, home agent knows this particular node is not here, it is in a visited network. So home agent, what the home agent will do, home agent will encapsulate that packet, packet with the destination address, that is nothing but the care of address, 79.129.13.2 and it will send that uh, to the care of address. As soon as the mobile receives the mobile receives uh, sorry as soon as the uh, router foreign agent receives this uh, packet uh, by seeing this address uh, by seeing this address uh, it destination address uh, it will come to know this is uh, the packet is for uh, the visited user whose care of address is uh, 179.129.13.2 and so it will deliver that packet to that uh, user so this is called as an indirect routing how this works we have seen it previously now the next thing is called as mobile ip agent discovery what do you mean by mobile ip agent discovery as soon as the mobile node enters the uh, new network that is the visited network or foreign network or its home network it should have some uh, method to identify the address of the agent the process of finding the address of the agent is known as agent discovery the process of uh, finding the address of the agent is known as agent discovery. So normally, the foreign agent or uh, home agent in the particular network decides on the particular router, advertise their service by using ICMP protocol with the type field 9. The type field 9 indicates, the type field 9 indicates root discovery protocol it is indicates root discovery protocol <coughs> this process is known as uh, agent discovery as soon as uh, our mobile node uh, receives uh, this advertisement uh, it will get uh, to know or it will come to know 
the address of that node in that network that is called as care of address that is called as a care of address so now here mobile foreign agent or uh, our home agent can pass more information than the address that is known as mobility agent advertisement extension here mobility agent advertisement extension that is known as a mobility agent advertisement extension you can see mobility what it contains it contains more information uh, to inform the node if it contains that mobility advertisement extension contains h bit then it is indicates that the agent is a home agent if it contains f bit then it is indicates that the agent is a foreign agent if it is if it contains a registration required bit r then it, it indicates that uh, mobile node to be registered in the foreign network so there is a special case uh, in which uh, mobile node there is a special case in which uh, our mobile node can send uh, broadcast message to the mobile agent uh, or uh, foreign agent uh, without waiting for the advertisement uh, uh, from the foreign agent so in that case uh, our mobile node can send the broadcast uh, by using icmp protocol with the type uh, 10 in that case uh, if the particular foreign agent which receives the message will uh, will send uh, unicast information to our mobile agent that is one more uh, advantage it is having so this process total process is known as uh, mobile agent discovery here mobile will come to know care of address so that uh, so that uh, network layer in the mobile node will come to know that the mobile node has moved to the new network so this is the architect uh, this is the uh, format uh, of the agent discovery here different uh, things are there uh, th different fields are there type 9 indicates root discovery message uh, code 0 that is icmp related to icmp then checksum uh, router address uh, all those informations are there so now next uh, so now next uh, we'll see how registration second how registration mobile ip registration is done here you can see in this uh, uh, this one uh, you can see here uh, this is the home agent uh, home agent address and this is our uh, uh, foreign agent uh, and it is our mobile agent now mobile agent is in the foreign network visited network so mobile agent is in a vis visited network so, so as soon as uh, mobile age uh, sorry our mobile node visit the visited network or foreign network uh, it uh, will wait for the advertisement from uh, advertisement from the foreign agent normally foreign agent here will broadcast the adver adver advertisement that advertisement is known as icmp advertisement in that uh, uh, new address is there care of address uh, that, uh, that uh, care of address is there that is assigned to our mobile agent uh, on receipt of this care of agent uh, mobile agent will send uh, registration request message uh, to the foreign agent uh, and it will request the foreign agent uh, to register with the home agent so now in that registration message you can see care of address is there that is the address given to our uh, mobile uh, device and uh, uh, home agent uh, address is there and uh, mobile address is there and lifetime is there and identification is there on receiving this information our foreign agent will send that same information now our foreign agent came to know the permanent address uh, sorry care of address of our mobile and uh, now it will pass that information uh, to the home agent <coughs> as soon as see as soon as home agent receives this information it will verify the authentic authentication and authentic authenticity of this message uh, and it will map care of address uh, with the permanent address of the mobile uh, in the particular database then it will send the reply that reply goes to our foreign agent uh, from foreign agent it goes to our uh, mobile device like this is called as uh, registration of the mobile ip in the foreign network uh, now both our uh, 
this one uh, uh, foreign agent and home agent came to know about our mobile new address.